We have our new equation of motion. Now to solve it, how do we solve it? We can't really solve it, we just have to guess. Just like the first equation of motion, now we have to guess. And let's use our complex exponentials. Let's guess a complex or guess a complex solution. I don't know, what should we guess? Well, why don't we start and say z of t, maybe it'll just go to a different frequency. a e to the j p times t plus phi. So let's assume it's gonna oscillate, that's a pretty, this is an oscillator, some amplitude, some phase p, and some phase offset phi. And we're looking for, what's the amplitude? What's the phase and what's phi? And if we plug it in, maybe it'll tell us. All right. So let's plug in that guess. So the first term is um, x double dot, or in this case, z double dot. So if we take two derivatives, let's see. So the a is along for the ride. We take two derivatives of this, we pull down two jp, so j squared, p squared. j squared becomes minus one, and we have p squared. And then we have e to the j p t plus phi. And then it's plus beta times x dot um, plus beta. One derivative brings down a j p. And then you're left with e to the j p t plus phi. And then plus omega naught squared times the function a e to the j p t plus phi. All that equals zero. How can that be true? Oh, I left off one a, sorry. Plus. Okay, so how can that equation be correct? Let's figure it out. One thing we didn't really talk about before, but there is one solution, and that is simply if a equals zero. That's a solution, right? If a were to be equal to zero, this would always be true. That's what we call a trivial solution. It means, yes, it's a solution, but it's not the complicated, interesting solution we're looking for. It is a real solution, though. It is true that this simple harmonic oscillator could just sit there and do nothing. Right? That's a good solution. But it's not the one we want. So let's not count what we would call the trivial solution. Let's look at it and then just cancel everything that shows up in all the terms. Get rid of the A, uh, get rid of the exponential oscillating part, and see what is left. And what is left is going to be minus p squared plus uh, beta p j um, uh, plus omega naught squared equals zero. So we're looking for, what are we looking for? We're looking for uh, p. Uh, is one thing we're looking for, and also beta. We want to figure out uh, what those would be. So this is actually two equations, is one thing to recognize. That's actually not just one equation, that is two equations. It has a real part and an imaginary part. So let's say the real part is equal to zero and the imaginary part is equal to zero, because this has to have both real and imaginary be zero. So the reals we'll put over here, and then you have minus p squared a uh, plus omega naught squared equals zero. And for the imaginary part, uh, what do we have? We just have that beta p equals zero. I didn't write the j because this is the imaginary part. I could put the j here and I could put it here. It's the imaginary part of zero. Okay, well if we look at this, what does this tell us? This tells us that the p, the frequency it's going to go, at which it's going to go, is equal to omega naught. It actually oscillates at its natural frequency. That's interesting. So the damping appeared to not make it oscillate. And it's also going to tell us that um, uh, if that's omega naught, beta must be zero. Now wait a minute. We've just been mocked by an equation. Before I describe this as you're talking to the equation of motion, you say, you have a guess. Is this correct? And the equation of motion tells you if it's correct or not, and it tells you what rules you have to follow. Here, we made a guess. Here's our guess. We said to the equation of motion, is this correct? The equation of motion said, yeah, that's a great answer, as long as the damping is zero, right? Meaning it's not really damped. This is also a trivial 
solution to our problem. Our problem was for a damped oscillator, and we found a solution that only works when the damping is zero. So now, let's make a better guess. <laughs> <laughs>